Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss closure properties of regular language. Okay, so what is a regular language here? Anything that can be expressed in terms of a regular expression, or if you are able to construct a NFA or a DFA, we call that language as a regular language. Okay, and we have certain closure properties of regular language so like union, concatenation, clean closure, uh, intersection, complement, and difference. Okay, so we take two languages L1 and L2 and we are going to prove that if L1 and L2 are a regular language then we can prove that L1 union L2 is also regular. Okay, similarly for all the properties we are going to prove it and sometimes I will be using a regular expression denotion and sometimes I will be uh, using this NFA DFA construction for it. Okay. So, uh, like why we are going with this NFA DFA regular expression is those are all the way of representation of your regular language. So, when we call a language as regular, then surely there exists a uh, regular expression NFA DFA for it. Okay. Now, I will start with this union operation. Uh, let us consider union is very simple. Let us consider two language L1 and L2. Okay. So, when can you call L1 union L2 as a regular language if l1 is also regular l2 is also regular then l1 union l2 is also regular language okay and to prove that it is very simple i'm going to have a regular expression r1 for l1 r2 for l2 and remember for regular expression we use this plus symbol okay so what is the meaning of plus symbol here all those of your regular one expressions input and all those of your regular two expressions input will be included okay so what is your union operation whatever is accepted by this language one whatever is accepted by this language two has to be accepted okay so i can say that if l1 is a regular language then there exists a regular expression r1 for it and if l2 is a regular expression there exists a regular expression r2 for it then l1 plus l2 is the regular expression for l1 union l2 Okay, so with this we can say that there exists a regular expression for L1 union L2, hence it is regular. Okay, so union is very simple. Since we use this plus symbol for union operation, we can directly combine two regular expression using plus and say that that is the union of two language. Okay, so next is concatenation. Concatenation is also goes again with the similar case L1. We take L1 as a, a language 1 and l2 is a regular language 2 if l1 is a regular language there exists r1 for it regular expression for it and l2 is a regular language there exists a reg language regular expression 2 for it and l1 concatenation of l2 can be defined as r1 dot r2 okay so this regular uh, this regular expression followed by this regular expression this dot operator is allowed in case of regular expression right so r1 dot r2 denotes the regular expression for l1 dot l2 okay hence we can say that concatenation of two regular language is also regular since there exists a regular expression for it and similar case goes for your like union concatenation and closure is very simple here since we have an operation for it we can directly represent it but when it comes to concatenation or a difference we have to find a way of representing things okay so next one is clean closure clean closure of two regular uh, like we have only one regular expression right so let us take l is a regular language we have to prove that l star is also regular okay so for l if l is a regular language then there exists a regular expression for it right and what you are going to do you are going to con clean closure this r1 to represent it as the clean, uh, regular expression representation for l star okay so since star operation is allowed in case of your regular language regular expression then r1 star is the context uh, is the regular expression representation for l star hence we can say that two regular uh, regular expression is closed under clean clo uh, clean closure operation too okay so these are all very simple now we'll go ahead with this complement what is complement here let us take a language L and what will be the complement of this L? Okay, if input starts with A represented by L and whatever is the input that doesn't starts with A will be your L dash. Okay, so what we have to prove here is if L is a regular language then L dash is also a regular language. Okay, and the proof is very simple. 
for the given language construct a dfa for it okay for example if i'm going to consider the case of input start with a over the input of a comma b if this is my language i'm going to construct a dfa for it so dfa structure goes like this input starts with a i'm going to q2 and i'm going to stay in the state whenever it comes into picture if input starts with b since my input is made up of a and b either it starts with a or starts with b if it starts with a i'm going to uh, the final state if it starts with b i'm going to a non final state and i'm going to stay here for all the remaining possibility okay so what can be done for the complement is what is complement if input starts with a we have to accept it if that is your l for all the input that doesn't start with a this l dash has to accept it okay so for this the notation is very simple what we have to do is we have to have the same dfa diagram what we have drawn for your uh, given language okay except mentioning your starting and final state i'm going to have the same transitions all this as it is now the thing is whatever is the final state of this dfa will remain non final and whatever is the non final state of your dfa that will become the final state so here q2 is the only final state that will become non final here okay if the input is accepted by this given dfa it will be rejected here and all the non final state will become final here so if the input is rejected by this dfa it will be accepted so that is your complement right so with this we can prove that there exists a dfa for this complement hence l dash is also a regular language okay so this is how we prove a complement of a regular language is also a regular language okay you are able to follow it right complement is whenever the input accepted by this language one has to be rejected there and what all is rejected by this has to be accepted so what we do we swap the final state alone got it so this is your complement operation and next you have another operation called intersection what is intersection dear l1 like let us take two language l and m okay i'm going to prove if l is regular language and m is also a regular language we are going to prove that l intersection m is also regular okay and here what i'm going to do is rather than taking it directly i'm going to use de morgan's law to prove it okay so what is de morgan's law i can just i want this intersection but intersection cannot be proven directly right so i'm going to convert it in terms of union since we already have proved that union of two regular languages regular so i have to convert this intersection into a union operation how can you do that using your uh, de morgan's law the whole dash okay so this when like l1 l intersection m can be written as l dash union m dash the whole dash okay and we already know that if l is a regular language then l dash is also regular if m is regular language then m dash is also regular language and if l is regular m is regular l in union m is also regular and if l dash union m dash is also regular the complement of it l dash union m dash the whole dash is also regular okay since we have proved all we are going to use it here that's it okay according to de morgan's law l union m can be l intersection m can be written like this and here we know that l is regular since then l complement is also regular since we have proved here right complement of two regular languages complement of a regular language is complement here okay if l is regular then l dash is also regular m is regular m dash is also regular and if these two are regular then union of these two language is also regular that is also we have proved okay using your plus operator we have proved it right and finally if one statement is if this l dash union m dash is regular then the uh, complement of that is also regular okay so using de morgan's law we can prove that the intersection of two language is regular for your exam point of view you have to expand and write all those constraint okay you should not write this alone you have to mention whatever i have told or whatever i have informed you you have to write it in set of statements got it so now uh, this is done intersection is done and the last property we can call it as difference 
okay difference is l minus m okay so l minus m is whatever is the common element of l and m has to be removed from l okay again here also we are going to use this property this can be written as l intersection m dash okay so we take the reverse of if m is regular then m dash is also regular okay and if m dash l and m dash is regular then n intersection of l and m dash is also regular okay so with this we can prove that the difference of two uh, regular language is also regular okay these are all the closure properties of regular language thank you